Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel once again. This is Abhishek, your friend but not a financial advisor and who is going to bring you today with two amazing penny stocks with high growth potential and I'm pretty sure that one of them won't remain a penny stock anymore within the coming few weeks or coming months at least. So without further ado, let's just get started. So guys, the first mini stock in our list is Strong Bridge Biopharma. Now, I have already covered this particular company in my previous video, but I want to bring this stock again up to your attention because of some huge upcoming catalysts. So guys, as you can see, I already covered this particular stock on my one of my previous videos and this video was released on February 15th and since then the stock hasn't moved so much on an upward side and it has been consolidating on sideways trend and that's why I want to bring this stock up to your attention because there are some huge upcoming catalysts coming for this particular company and that's why this might be a chance for you guys to enter into this company still at this particular time. But guys, before we move on, I would just like to request you for two things. One is to hit and smash that like button and the other one is to become a bull like in a bull market and focus on that red colored subscribe button and hit it and smash it and just become a part of this amazing YouTube family. The other thing which I would like to mention is our patrons family. So we picked up on these stocks at quite an early stage and that's what we do in our patrons family. So before the YouTube video is released, we do discuss this quite early on our patrons family. So if you want to become a part of our patrons family, then don't hesitate and just you are again one click away from becoming a discord member so you will be directed towards the discord group by via our patrons so guys this is a short overview how our discord group works so as you can see right here we talk about ETFs, we talk about penny stocks big market caps value investments SPACs growth stocks and not just that we also talk about crypto commodities you name it we have it <laughs> and as you can see right here that strong bridge biopharma we discussed about it on 14th of feb and the entry price was between 2.45 and 3.2 dollars so we are still up by an amazing percentage and the target price was suggested between 8 to 10 dollars i do think that it will easily reach 8 dollars at least within this year so this is how our squad works so the video was released on 15th feb and the stock was suggested on 14th feb so if you want to get quick alerts early alerts on our stock picks then you're most welcome to join our discord group and you will be entering into the stocks quite early and being in a good entry range with a good profit margin okay guys so without wasting any more time let's jump on to the catalyst which i'm talking about so strong which biopharma plc presents detailed results from pivotal phase three logic study of record lev and this is the drug which i have talked in detail in that particular video which i just showed you guys a moment ago for the treatment of endogenous cushing syndrome at the 2021 annual meeting of endocrine society if you want to know more about this particular company then you can watch my previous video and will be linked in the i card above and i won't go much deeper into the company but this is just to bring this particular company up to your attention because of this particular catalyst and this can literally take the stock price to another high maybe up to eight dollars or ten dollars well eight dollars is the price target which i gave in my last video and I, it still remains but once this gets an fd approval which we'll get on to and here it is so on march 2nd 2021 the company announced it had submitted an nda for record left for the treatment of endogenous cushing syndrome to the fda now the submission is supported by previously reported positive and statistically significant results of the sonics and logix trial Two, phase three multinational studies designed to evaluate the safety and efficacy of Recolev when used to treat adults with endogenous Cushing's syndrome. And this is the catalyst, guys. This is the big catalyst which I'm talking about. As soon as this drug gets their FD approval, well, like I said, it can jump to $8 or beyond. $8 for sure is my price target and I'm repeating this again and again but please consider this that this is not a financial advice this is my personal opinion that this particular company can definitely definitely reach to $8 within this year so there is an upside potential of 100% more than that to be honest depending upon the price which it is trading right now while making this video so $3.7 I guess we will we'll get on to that in a few moments so yeah this is the big catalyst which I'm talking about guys please consider this as 
add this to your watch list. I'm not asking you to buy or sell. So please think about this. This is not uh, any financial advice. This is just my opinion. And I am myself and my patrons are bullish on this particular company. And like I said, guys, it's not just me. The analysts out there are also giving SBBP as a really strong buy recommendation. So these are the recommendation ratings. So as you can see in March, there are three strong buys and two buy signals without any hold or sell. So that's why it gives me one more reason to be quite bullish on this particular company. Now guys, this is another reason why I'm quite bullish on this company. This company has literally performed, outperformed the consensus earnings per share for every quarter, consecutively four quarters in a row. And that's why, okay, the company is still not profitable, but we don't expect a profitable business from biotech companies, but still the company's earnings per share, it's quite good. And also, if the company is not profitable, then you can look into the balance sheet and the balance sheet of Strongbridge Biopharma is quite good. Okay guys, so now let's have a quick look at its balance sheet. So as we can see right here, the total assets are currently sitting at $121 million, while the total liabilities are just at $55 million. And if we dig deeper, so the current assets are sitting at $92 million, while the total liabilities should be really less. So at $21 million, that's it. So as you can see that they can already pay their long-term liabilities with just their current assets. And this is amazing guys. So, and this is what is quite incredible. So I am not afraid of investing in this company for long term because I know that they have enough assets to pay off their 12 month debts and also the long term debts with just current assets. So this is the thing which I am uh, looking into when the cash flow is not that good, when the income statement is okay, okay. -ish. So in this case, Strongbridge Biopharma is having a strong, stable financial position. Okay, guys, so now let's have a quick technical overview of Strongbridge Biopharma's chart. So this is the one day chart. And as we can see right here, that here is a short term good support level at $2.7. So it has bounced from this level quite nicely many times. So three times we have seen that it has bounced off. And this is the, let's say long term 3.96 uh, resistance level. And also we have a, another support level at 1.89, which is another long term support level, which I don't think that it might reach, but still anyways. So we have another resistance, short term resistance level at 3.32, which it has broken already uh, on Friday. So we have to have a look that if it breaks uh, like today, if it's trading already above 3.32 again, and if it's not dropping, then we do have that, uh, we do have a chance that it might break the $3.96 resistance as well, based on this news that the phase three results are quite positive and they have already submitted their FDA approval. So as we can also see right here that the chart is moving quite nicely around the 50 day moving average and around the 30 day moving average and it's already above the 15 day moving average. So this is quite a positive sign. It is consolidating above both the moving averages. And if it breaks this resistance, short term resistance from here, then like I said, we are looking at onto the next resistance level at 3.96. And don't, uh, I would say that if it opens up at 3.37, then let's say we do have a chance that it might move in this direction. So this might be a day trade option for you. So me and my patrons, like you already know, we have bought at uh, around 2.2, 2.4 dollars. So we are okay with that. So we have bought around this uh, support level, let's say. So we are okay with it. We are holding it for long term. I'm quite bullish on this particular company, so I have no problems in holding it. So I'm looking in for this resistance level and this resistance level right now. I don't think that it will get onto this support level anytime soon because this news is quite huge and uh, this news has not been baked into the price. So I don't think that it will come on to this support level. So if it goes, then that's your buying opportunity right there. But I don't think that. Uh, so again, this is just my personal opinion and look on for these two resistance levels. Now let's move on to our second penny stock. Okay guys, so before we go on further, we will just have a quick look at what the company actually does because that's quite important from an investor point of view. Now we won't go deeper into that, but we will just have a quick overview about the company. So Steel Connect is a publicly trading diversified holding company. Now that's important. It's a holding company. That means it operates through its subsidiaries. So with two wholly owned subsidiaries, Modus Link Corporation and IWCO Direct that have market leading positions in 
supply chain management. So this is important that their business is more focused on supply chain management. So what Modus Link actually does is, so Modus Link Corporation provides digital and physical supply chain solutions to many of the world's leading brands across a diverse range of industries, including consumer electronics, telecommunications, computing and storage, software and content, consumer packed goods, medical devices, retail and luxury and connected devices with a global footprint spanning North America, Europe and Asia Pacific. The company's solution and services are designed to improve end-to-end -end supply chains in order to drive growth low cost and improve profitability so until now like i said the companies are not making that much profit still connect with modus link but like i said they have to really work hard on the management and the financials so their main goal is to achieve reliable flexible infrastructure combined with global planning and logistic expertise so like i said their main focus is on supply chain management so their business is all about logistics so now moving on to the second subsidiary so iwco direct is a leading provider of data-driven marketing solutions that help clients drive response across all marketing channels to create new and more loyal customers it is the largest direct mail production provider in north america with the full range of services including strategy creative and production of multi-chain marketing campaigns so if we just click on iwco website we will see that they are more into data analysis and helping therefore direct marketing so with our sophisticated direct marketing strategy tools and expertise iwco direct digs deeper than demographics with models to predict attitudes analyze behavior and focus your marketing efforts for better return on investment so they are more focusing on businesses with improving their marketing strategies so they are dealing with data mining and analysis uh, conjoint analysis so these are some of the tools which they use for better marketing and provide these services to other businesses as well so audience segmenting and targeting customer modeling and persona creation back and reporting testing and attribution studies so this is what iwco actually does for different businesses and in combined with modus link okay guys so now moving on to the most important part so one of the most important things why i am even looking into this company is right here Here's the secret. The market cap is $116 million, right? So what is the catch here? Well, here's the catch. Look at the annual revenue growth. $782 million in 2020, $819 million in 2019, $645 million in 2018, and so on. Can you guys see the serious disconnection between the revenue growth and the market cap of this company, the valuation? This is seriously undervalued right now and this is the reason why I have already bought few shares of this particular company and why I am bringing this company to your attention because I personally think this company right here has huge upside potential. Now why the hell it is still trading at such low levels? Well, because first of all look at the average volume 945,000 and the incoming volume on Friday was just 300,000. Yeah. So first reason is that people are still not aware about this company. Yeah, there are no investors coming into this company and investing in this company. And second reason is it's ugly financials. To be honest, the financials are really, really bad. The margins are really ugly and the company is not profitable for sure, as we already saw. So this is the other reason why the company uh, or the market cap has a serial disconnection from the revenue growth but that's not the point here the financials are bad yes we will get on to that in a few moment but this is my point guys that this company right here has an amazing price to sales ratio but we have seen in many other uh, cases that the company is making a huge loss but the price to sales ratio is sky high right and as soon as this company gets onto the attention of more and more investors i do think that the price to sales ratio will be justified and all the other ratios will get in a let's say value range not undervalued but value range that's why i do think that this is a long-term hold stock and if you are quite patient with this company you will be rewarded so just to show you that how how undervalued this company is right here so price to sales just at 0 0.17 price to book value just at 2.42 and enterprise value to its revenue it's just 0 0.73 guys so this is why <laughs> i do think that this company is quite undervalued but again the problem is that their margins are not that good so as you can see right here profit margin just at one minus 1.84 percent and operating margin at 3.93 percent 
this is the reason why their financials are not that good at the company is not profitable yet so they literally literally have to work a lot but i do see that there is a disconnection between the company's revenue growth and the market cap so guys now let's have a quick technical overview about the steel connects chart so this is the one day chart and as you can see right here that the stock has been uh, consolidating or moving sideways so these are the two uh, support and the resistance levels which we should be looking on to uh, so two dollar resistance level and 1.68 dollar support level so it has bounced back quite nicely from this support level and uh, the opening the closing price was 1.85 dollars so now i would be looking in for this resistance level to be broken in the short term and this is a huge resistance at 2.6 so as we can see that it got hit pretty hard from this resistance and it went to this support level and this is the so today when the market opens if it crosses the two dollar resistance then i'm quite happy i won't be putting on more shares uh, i will be only adding more uh, of this company into my portfolio if it gets hit back from the two dollars and gets onto this support level again this is always a good strategy to buy at the support levels you have to wait until the trend reverses and if we see uh, a six month chart so we can see that this stock was moving sideways uh, on these levels so maybe we have the same pattern right here and this was uh, it got pretty it got hit pretty hard during the pandemic and i don't think that it will reach onto these levels once again so i'm not worried about these two support levels at all i personally don't think that it will get onto these levels maximum what it can what can happen that it can go back to this 1.21 dollar support level and this was created because of this big green volume spike and it was maybe probably because of the earning speculations and you can see that this support level is quite strong and has been tested many times in the past so i'm quite bullish on this support level to be honest 1.21 but for the short time i'm looking in for this support level at 1.68 and uh, i will be only adding more of these shares currently i have 1500 shares of this particular company and i will be only adding when it touches this support level once again so if it gets hit back uh if it returns from the two dollar range and getting on to 1.68 again then i probably will be adding and i will be looking in for this support level as well so that's it that's it guys and uh, again this is a really uh let's say this is a long-term kind of investment because it's a slow burner there are not many upcoming catalysts for this particular company and the management has has a lot of work to do it has to really work hard the only bullish sign is like this like i said the chart is moving in an upward trend and it is moving on um, it is above the 30 day moving average and consolidating towards the 50 day moving average which is quite good so the last candle closed uh higher than the 50 day moving average as well so this is quite kind of good thing to see so yeah today i'll be watching up to the uh, resistance level if it opens in a positive and i'll be watching in for the two dollar support uh, the resistance level and like i said guys this is a slow burner you have to be patient if you are patient then you will be rewarded in long term the company's revenue is incredible but the earnings are not that good the company has to work a lot on their margins so yeah that's why i'm quite patient for regarding this particular company and i will be holding in this a particular company for a longer time and when it reaches the support level i will be buying in more so this is always a good strategy you should be waiting in for a reversal trend and buying in um on support levels is always good you will not be able to catch the falling knife every time so anyways a cheap entry price it's always good okay so yeah that's it that's it from my side for steel connect so like i said guys steel connect is a long-term investment strong bridge biopharma is also a long-term investment but i'm quite bullish on strong bridge biopharma regarding the short term and long term as well but in case of steel connect the company's management has to work really hard and i am bullish on this stock but i don't think that the price will be crossing three dollars let's say in this year because the company's um, revenue growth is okay but the company has to work on their financials a lot uh, they might have to reorganize many things in their management so yeah it's a long-term 
uh, hold. So if you're patient enough, then only get into this particular company. Again, guys, this is not a financial advice. This is just my personal opinion. So please be careful with your money. So guys, just for uh, Steel Connect, I just made these two trend lines to give you guys a much more better view. So as we can see right here that it has been making higher highs and higher lows. And if this pattern continues, we have to just watch on these uh, high resistance levels. So it is making higher and higher resistance levels, though we can see that the RSI was curling down. It is an oversold uh, at 43, but we don't have to worry about that. It reached 39 as well. So as we can see right here, we do see a dip. We do see a big dip right here, but eventually it went up again. So this is these are the channels um, in an inclined upward trend we have to watch. So if this pattern continues, then we can expect that the $2 resistance level will break soon. So that's it, guys. That's all for these two penny stocks. So that's all, guys. That's all for today. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep printing some money and ciao.